drawing the Lewis structure for the peroxide ion is going to take a little bit of finesse. Now, oxygen is a non-metal. It's on the right-hand side of this darkened staircase on the periodic table. And it's in group 16, which means each of the oxygens brings six valence electrons on its own. So two oxygens bringing six electrons would normally be 12 electrons. And for O2, oxygen gas, that's true, 12 valence electrons total for that molecule. But the peroxide ion has a minus two charge because it has two extra electrons from who knows where, maybe a hydrogen, maybe a sodium, you don't know. The point is that the ion has 14 electrons total. Again, 12 brought by the oxygens and two bonuses from somewhere else. So to figure out what the structure is here, I counsel you to draw yourself the two oxygens and connect them with a single bond. I always connect my things with a single bond to start with, because then if I need more bonds to satisfy the octet rule, I can just add them in from lone pairs, but I always start with singles. That's two electrons. Then I complete the octet on the outer atoms. Remember the octet rule means that each of the atoms wants eight electrons total. And this oxygen already has two because this single horizontal line represents two bonding electrons. So this oxygen has two. Now it has three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this oxygen, now we've already counted these two, bring nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now that's all the electrons that I need. And I've already satisfied the octet rule for both of these atoms. So I don't have to make any changes by moving electrons around. We're almost done the completed Lewis structure. Lewis structures for ions though, need square brackets around them. And you write the charge in the top right corner. Now that's the completed Lewis structure and it just kind of fell together for us. It's a beautiful thing. The peroxide ion Lewis structure is EZ. Best of luck.